gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. We're back from the break. We're back from... Shit, what was the last episode? Like a month ago? I don't know. <laughs> well, we're back. This is our road to WrestleMania. We're picking up traction. Oh, are we on the road to WrestleMania? We're on the road to WrestleMania, and we're starting with Wrestle Kingdom. Okay. Brian Brian Peacock is on the road to WrestleMania. Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter is on the road to WrestleMania. Jeremy the Coach Brooks already been on the road to WrestleMania, but I don't like to go back on it with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Actually... Just kidding, because I probably don't give a shit about WrestleMania. Sorry. Hopefully we will. We'll I hope I will, but everything I've seen so far, I probably won't. So but this is we, something... Go ahead. Well, we are watching Wrestle Kingdom, and I'm pretty excited. So this is something we should have talked about off microphone. Probably. Are we going to start watching less WWE? I want to. Are you? I don't know. You don't know? Because that's know. how I feel. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... It's easy. It is easy, but to keep up with times and stuff. That's why our listeners listen to it. I'm about to cut a promo on our listeners. Go ahead. Cut it. Oh. Cut it. Cut oh, it. All right. Cut it, Fabrics. Do it. <laughs> yeah, cut, cut it the up. promo, Fabrics. Do it. Yeah, that's from our first show, if you ever listen to that one. Yeah, go listen to it. If, Brooks uh, wasn't on it. He didn't care no. then. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. He didn't care. He did, I don't think he knew. No. <laughs> so, well, yeah, we're, uh, we're watching Wrestle Kingdom. Um... Hopefully soon we'll have some other... I think we need to watch some PWG. We need to watch some Ring of Honor. Yes. We need to figure out an alternative. Because right now, it's real fucking boring over at WWE World. That's why I haven't <laughs> wanted to do the podcast so much. What's even... i say what. The most exciting thing right now in WWE is the prospect of AJ going into WrestleMania as champion. And possibly getting Balor versus... AJ or uh, Nakamura versus AJ. That is not going to happen. No, Probably not. Have, yeah, not have happen. you guys kept up on it? Like, what's going on now? Well, I, Pretty since, much. I heard rumors. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead with your rumors and speak up, Brooks. I got a rumor where... <sighs> Dang Go it. ahead. Hold on. Let okay. Me think. Let me think. I will let him think, but have you seen uh, Finn and the Good Brothers? Yes. Are they, like, together now, for real? I mean, WWE UK Twitter's account was, like, Bullet Club debuts. Uh, I said Bullet Club. Really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay. That's that's got me interested. That, and the only other thing that I'm interested in right now is going back to NXT and watching some Aleister Black. And right now, fuck Johnny Gargano for beating him. I am so mad. Really? I think Johnny Gargano broke his streak. Well, not yet, because they still haven't had NXT TakeOver. Maybe he'll beat him there. No, I think he just beat him. Oh, no. I don't think it was a singles match, though. I think okay. it was a four-way for the but that won't number break one streak contender. Though, oh, you're so right. So maybe no, not, you're right. but still. I don't think that'll break his streak. I, I just I don't like one. seeing Aleister Black lose. Yeah, because it's going to be, that's right, it's Johnny versus Andrade at TakeOver. Yeah, which I still so don't know why Andrade has the title, but I'm semi okay with it. He's, I think he deserves it. I think he's he's good. good. I don't know. You know what's going to happen with NXT? Drew McIntyre is going to come back and get the belt again. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Maybe. That's why Andrade has the belt. Oh, because Drew got injured. All right, that makes. I sense. feel like right now it would be Drew and Andrade, maybe dropping the belt to each other, but right. at the very least feuding. That's definitely what would be happening. Right. Yeah, that's probably what would be happening is just them, they're going to be dropping the belt to each other, maybe get, uh, who, who is Johnny right now, is the other person involved. Yeah. So that's all, that's just, we had a whole episode about how much we hate speculation, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, right now, we are watching Wrestle Kingdom, we've watched a good chunk of it, right now we just finished watching Evil and Sonata defeating the Killer Elite Squad, Davey Boy Smith, and, um. Lance Archer. Lance Archer, yeah. He wanted to call him Vance Archer. <laughs> or Archer Vance, whatever. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with him. I, I remember him back in the day when they had the ECW and the Invasion stuff. I thought I saw him. He was on WCW, too. Okay. Then, was he? No, yeah. I, I think he was in NWA, is what I was just reading. Wasn't? That is WCW. Right. 
the old but he was he, he was with WCW until they, WWE bought it. Then he okay. came over with the invasion. Then he went to ECW. After then read. WWE bought ECW. Right. Then he left. Okay. Because he's he's in the video games too. I remember him. Huh. So the rest of the sh- oh the other thing we watched that we should talk about was uh, Cody versus Ibushi. Yeah. That was oh, incredible. Man. That was a good match. I thought he killed yeah. Ibushi with that uh, crossroads out of the ring. That was amazing. It's like you could break somebody's neck doing that crap. I I've thought seen, did. I've seen Ibushi take some crazy ass moves, and that's on the list. That is on the list. I love that Cody is an incredible character, but Cody and Brandy together... Right. Are just demented. Amazing. Yeah, I, I like seeing them work together. That was pretty that was pretty funny. But uh and the fact that like Coda I missed I looked away for two seconds. Coda did he hit her? I looked away too. I, I wasn't paying attention. Good, good I think, God, guys. I think we were, I, no, I think we was looking up something. Okay. But it or, didn't work. Oh, we were was, looking up if Goldust was in oh, uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, in New Japan. Did you ever find out? No, I don't think he was. Okay. No, I never. Then we all got distracted man. again by the pay per view. <laughs> but um, so Coda, something happened to Brandy. Coda was trying to check on her, and uh, she, she ends up distracting him. Gets Cody just goddamn. He decked her, decked him. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, Co- Coda her. picked her up to bring her somewhere. Yeah. And Cody just fucking right hand to the jaw. I thought... Coda's legit. eyes, like, rolled to the yeah. back of his head. That was some good acting. Either he knocked the fuck out for a second, or he was selling like crazy. Either, Either way, it was nice. Yeah. But well, when Cody went and checked on Brandy, she started laughing. And they started laughing it's at each so other's face. so funny. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm that jealous. was downright creepy. I'm jealous. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I like Cody with the blonde hair. That's creepy. It's... Oh, well, that's that. creepy. I He's, like his new tattoo, the Dusty. Yeah. That's Wait, awesome. The new what? He, he has got a tattoo, tattoo on his titty. It says dream? Dream. What did that's, I say, Dusty? Yeah. <laughs> that's been there forever. No. Yes. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. I ain't I never s- seen that before. I swear to God, that has been there forever. I'll call yeah. Bull Jive. I thought you were going to say you're going to call Cody. <laughs> I'll call Cody. Oh, you know what? I have a phone out. When'd you get the tattoo? Let's call it Cody. Hey, when'd you get that tattoo? I mean, we did watch your boy Trent win the uh, six man tag I'm championship. I'm happy. He. He beat uh, members of the new, uh, what you call it, Bullet Club. Club. I ain't happy about that, but I'm happy that the boy won the belt. Congratulations, Trent. Sorry, Bastard. You owe me a match. You guys need to go back and watch that Trent Beretta Kenny Omega match. Because that really, I mean, Trent's done well for himself. Didn't we but, see that? Huh? Didn't we see that here? We didn't know. I thought we saw him and Kenny Omega go at it. I don't think so. Wait, did we? We did see that. Is that Maybe where I did. watched it? <laughs> We watched, yeah, we watched it here because y'all was telling me my boy fighting Kenny Omega. Okay. And it was I a said, fantastic match. I was, you, you remember me screaming? It put Beretta on the map. For it did. Sure. It did. They so even I, said, I, I didn't know he was over there until I saw that. They even said a new heavyweight, Beretta. So they just must move. They don't necessarily move them around for weight classes, but the class that they're fighting in. So, like, heavyweight would be like Omega and Okada and all those guys. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the lightweight would be like not. Not the junior. Well, yeah, I guess it would be the juniors. It's obviously is a lot different because WWE is just like dudes and women. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Those are the two divisions. I guess we have cruiserweights now, but even the cruiserweights they wrestle need, with the heavyweights. WWE, they need to have the cruiserweights on the main show. It, they do some. They like they used to do back in the day to like mix them in with the storyline and yeah. instead of have, instead of you got to go on a network to freaking watch them, just let them. I don't know, it's stupid. I think they usually have at least a couple matches on the main show. I know... It ain't a one-on-one, it's like a tag team or something like that. Well, a lot of it's been with uh, Enzo. has been on the main show. Oh, yeah. Enzo has put that show on the map, believe it or not. Yeah. Well, one, I'm going to say one thing about New Japan. Watching this, I'm, I'm just amazed. Watching this stuff, they like, the stage is phenomenal. Yeah. I ain't never seen a stage for a wrestling show so freaking big. Yeah, WrestleMania. It's beautiful. Fuck WrestleMania. This, this shit on WrestleMania after watching this. Well, six hours of this. You know, holy crap! <laughs> this, that stage wouldn't even fit in a WrestleMania arena. It's probably true. This is a baseball dome, dude. That'll fit in the Rogers Center in Toronto, where it won't fit nowhere else. Really? He'll yeah. tell you. He'll know. I know. I believe you. That's the only reason that, that, I'm, I believe you. That thing is humongous. 
Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to watch some more of this. Uh, I will say right now, we're not going to watch all of it. Cause yeah, we're going to have to skip around because we got work in the morning. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got yeah, work in the morning. <laughs> and y'all are in my house. So. Also, <clears throat> do we want to talk about February? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? Keep listening. You'll find out. You'll find oh, out. And Cody Rhodes got the dream tattoo. Um, at least it was reported on here May 1st, 2016. Oh, my God. You had to look it up. So He was in WWE 2016, was he? He's had it for a while. Shut up. Yeah, That's what we right. said. <laughs> All right. Go. All right. <laughs> Shit. You mean to tell me you've never heard of Will fucking... Osprey? Can you let me finish? Go ahead. I heard of his name. I just never watched him. What's wrong with you? Jacob. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm offended. You know, I'm offended too. <laughs> this hurts me. It hurts me not watching this cat. Brooks? I'm offended that Marty Squirrel lost. Brooks? You're Shut the hell fire. up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? A Hello Kitty? Oh, God. That is weird. Oh, is no, Daryl just... alive? Huh? Who's alive? Daryl. I, I don't think that was Daryl. That wasn't Daryl. I wonder if... Oh, I guess some other little stuffed cat. Yeah. So, Will Ospreay is now... What was his championship? Uh, I believe that was uh, Junior know. Heavyweight. Good grief, man. It was so a lot much of... action in this match, man. We're just they all over the place. a lot of championships. Yeah. This is, I feel like, their cruiserweight division, like their crazy spot division. Yeah, the junior heavyweights. I mean, Will Ospreay's in it. Yeah. <laughs> Who Brooks is going to become familiar with. <laughs> Bro, just watching this that match we just watched. Will Ospreay and Ricochet was, that, is the greatest feud of all time. That basically was WrestleMania, that one the, match. The most gift match of all time. Yeah, it might be. I'm sure it is. Every, every spot is has a gift somewhere. That, so... There's a list of matches that we need to go back and watch. Like, we watched the CM Punk John Cena match. Yeah. That we're going to add that. The Will oh, Ospreay yeah. Ricochet match. And we'll have, just have a podcast about that match. Jay White's coming up. Yeah. Oh, I have seen this guy. I don't know who he is. We saw him on the last uh, New Japan thing we watched. Yeah, I remember him. We didn't watch him wrestle, though. Didn't he get teased? Oh, yeah. No, he was. Uh, no, then we saw him in Ring of Honor. He was okay. uh, top, top prospect uh, a year or two ago. No, we seen this cat wrestle in New Japan last time we watched it. Did okay. we? Yeah, when we first saw... I thought he did a run in or something. My boy against Omega. He was, he was wrestling. Oh, no, he, right. no, it was after the match. It was after the match he came in there. And okay, started yeah. started hitting somebody, battling with somebody. So this is for the Intercontinental? Yeah, this it. This yeah. it right here. This was in oh, America. Oh, we did watch this. And that's You're the right. one he had in L.A. You're absolutely right. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. So this is going to be Jay White versus who? Uh, is it Jay White versus uh, Takahashi? It looks like it. I'm excited about this. These two are freaking nuts. Yeah. They both got issues. And this guy's freaking me out. I'm genuinely interested in this Switchblade guy. He's got a cool gimmick. Yeah, I like his gimmick. I hope he's fighting Dr. Haji. I just like watching him. We're going to find out. Okay, now it's recording. Mm. Guys, I done goofed. Yeah. <laughs> We're sorry for all you guys who didn't get to hear the show we just did. <clears throat> I'm tired. We still got more stuff to talk about. <laughs> just so you know, it was really funny. I made a very obscure reference. Apparently, I'm the king of obscure references. You are. Because I've been doing it all night. Uh, the bullshit, Ronnie. If you get that, like and comment below. What the hell are we doing? If talking? you don't get a like and comment below, we'll get more fucking comments and yeah, likes. Yeah, but I want to know who's actually going to get it. Dude, both. Both both groups of people. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear this, comment and like below. That's right. Oh uh, man, if you think I fucked up, like and comment down below. If you subscribe. if you heard the show from before, like and comment below because you're listening in and that's fucking weird. Don't get the yeah, fuck out of my house. Yeah, please uh, All right, so War Machine are on their way to WWE. 
Yeah, Brooke, if Brooke's if really they don't bad. get pushed, we riot. It's a funny joke. Go back and listen to the shit that didn't get recorded. But Ricochet really is, I feel like, the most important thing. Because Ricochet is... <laughs> what? Are you just mad? Oh, no. Yeah, we're mad. But I'm not right. mad. <laughs> Everyone else should be mad because they didn't get to hear no, the last mad. two and a half hours of shit we just recorded. I'll try to remember everything I said. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh. I don't know anymore. We'll just, we'll just finish this up. It's going to be a short show. No, you still yeah, recording? This. Yeah, I'm recording. Now, now. now, now he's recording. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, you know what? I think you said some stuff yes. you didn't want recorded. So I think we're good. Really? I think so. Damn, I don't know. man. I'm trying to be good. Oh, man. Okay, so War Machine are on their way to WWE. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't either, just because they fucked up the Ascension. Bad. They're pushing AOP like fucking crazy, and nobody likes them. I mean, they're okay. No, you know, I think we're good. Because I, I bring this up all the time. Because they're my two favorite people in the world right now. Raymond Rowe and Sarah Bridges. Yeah. Sarah Bridges' best friend was Steve Carino, according to the Instagram. It's okay. fucking funny. Follow I'll follow all of them. But it's everyone I, on I think Instagram. It's yeah, follow everyone on Instagram. <laughs> I don't give a shit about going through the list of people I was talking about. You heard me. You go follow the people I just said. So... I don't think we have much to worry about. No? I don't know. I don't know. I just... It's a bad feeling, man. But if they get buried, we riot. Funny joke from the shit we didn't get recorded. <clears throat> yeah, you'll get it tomorrow, I you'll guess. You'll get it tomorrow. All right, what's the next subject? Candice LeRae is also on her way to WWE. Yeah, Which, that's going to yeah, cool. make, make that shit. Make I am coming. excited as fuck for that. I'm going to be honest with you. This women's shit ain't working out for me. What? What? The new ones? Yeah. Well, I the mean... The new ones and, and the regular ones that's been there. The, the thing with the Riot Squad and with Absolution, right? That's Paige's group. I have no Which fucking is, clue. I don't, weird, I don't even know she had a group. That's a weird name, right? Absolution? That's why it's something yes. like a dissolve or help you with your diarrhea. Yeah. Need some absolution. Right. Give some of that Absolution. Stomach hurts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I mean, it's just like that. It, it's women's division, man. They 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 get on, they get a spot. Everybody like them. They all suck. Yeah, well, it's like, and thankfully, hopefully soon, or very soon, Shayna Baszler is gonna come in and start fucking wrecking some people. That ain't gonna happen. I think she's already wrecking people in NXT. She's like beat the hell out of people backstage. All good comes from NXT, goes to WWE, and goes bad. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. The, the people that's on NXT, that's awesome. The strong people putting their product out there that's making Ascension. people want this shit. Yeah, good example, Ascension. They down in NXT, hey, I want to buy Ascension shirt. They look good. And they're good wrestlers. Good, you know, they go to WWE, fuck is that? I, I, I still am a huge Ascension fan. When they, first st- when they first came on Raw, you know what I heard? They have fake-ass LOD. Yeah, and that's kind of unfair. Yeah, they definitely shouldn't shouldn't have added the shoulder pads. That didn't help. That, yeah, that's right. It did look real stupid. I mean, they were cool, but they shouldn't have added. Brooks almost knocked over a bottle of water. It's oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't I know what he was it. pointing at. I, I, I got it. I they, got I want to make noise because the the thing. But the, I, see, that's what this my is just me that. shuffling around. It, people that go to NXT. <laughs> <laughs> People that go to NXT, they do great things. They bring their potential comes out and it's awesome. You know, they they build a foundation, they build a fan base. Then they go to WWE, the main roster, and it's like ugh. it's weird. Like I know you had to have been with me at least a couple times when we saw Ascension live in NXT. Oh me? Yeah, yeah tons of times. It was like electric. Like their entrance and their presence was. You felt Creepy. it. Yeah. Like, you felt like they're about to kill someone. Now they're down there fluffing pillows with the freaking police squad, whatever you call it. Which is, like, it's funny. Like, it's a it's a good bit for them. No, it's not, man. They're the kind of people that need to go out there. They're getting on TV. The thing. wrong way. They should be just killing everybody. You know what I do when they come off? I go to the bathroom. There's an old podcast, and I, I, I think this was after Ascension had been on TV. But I pitched an idea 
where Ascension just runs through. Actually, they they do the thing that Asuka did. Runs through everybody and says, well, I don't need these belts anymore. I guess we're going to go to the main roster. Right. Wins the belts there. Goes through that show and says, well, I guess I don't need these belts anymore. Hey, champs over there, you want to fight? Right. That would be amazing. Would be. Yeah. And they're doing it, well, I guess Asuka has done fine on the main roster. People, I'm just starting to hear a lot of people getting tired of her. Asuka? Yeah. I don't see, I'm like, why? They ain't doing a lot with her. Because they're just, yeah, they're just like treating her like another person. Which, you know, it is. Sounds like it's not a bad thing, but. It's like Shelton Benjamin. They made this big deal about him coming back. And yes. I got fired up about, you know, all right, there's going to be some high flying people in that old school that can still go and battle with the young bucks. Look what they're doing with him. He's just there. He's a tag team. Yeah, with Chad Gable, he's the replacement black guy. Yeah, it's like, it's so one black guy go, we bring another one in. That's what they did. You are now the token black guy. Some it's shit like, like that. Maybe oh. it, that's not what happened because Shelton is just a great Olympic wrestler and everything, but it looks that way. It looks dumb. It does. You know, it's, I don't know, man. Let's talk about something. I'm getting tired of this fucking WWE <laughs> shit. We're talking about like the Royal Rumble card. <sighs> Go ahead. Yeah, let's make it quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> United States, oh, title tournament? Is it a tournament? Yeah, you know that? No. Yeah, they like, since Dolph laid down, put the belt down. Oh, that's right. They made he was doing the whole loss of smile, Shawn Michaels thing. Okay. Um, Bobby, really, website. Bobby Roode or Zack Ryder or Mojo Raleigh versus Jinder Mahal or Xavier Woods. Uh, that needs to be Zack Ryder versus Xavier Woods, in my opinion. That'd you know what's going to happen. Uh, I know what's going to happen. Uh, Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal. Yep. Nah. You hate Bobby Roode. Yep. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I don't like any what, of those. What's really? going to happen? It's going to be Mojo Raleigh. You think so? Yeah. They're nope. pushing him. Are they? They're pushing him. Trust me. They're going to push him. Okay. We'll see. The man won the freaking under the giant, the under the giant turn. He hasn't done shit since. That sh- they gonna push him now? I hope so. The belt, this belt don't mean nothing no more. Yeah, it's back to that point, isn't it? So go ahead and give it to him. Why did Corbin drop this belt? What was the point in that? He was doing good with the belt, and then he just dropped it at Dolph, and Dolph maybe, literally dropped it. Maybe he wanted to pursue other opportunities, which he's not gonna fulfill. <laughs> Uh, that was upsetting when Corbin dropped the belt. This is upsetting when Corbin won the money in the bank and yeah, <laughs> nothing happened. Yeah, that was funny. I don't like Corbin. So. <laughs> God damn, bro. You don't like Corbin? You don't like Rude? You like anyone? No, I don't like anybody. <laughs> and that's why we're gonna start watching Ring of Honor. Damn. <laughs> um, one match that I I'm excited for two on one handicap match: Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. That um, one, I'm mm. excited, I guess. But That's something you could be excited about, but you know something going to happen if Sammy and Kevin over. win? I don't know. Who gets the belt? Wait, what is it? Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I did see this on SmackDown. Versus AJ Styles, 2 on 1 handicap match for the WWE title. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> That's funny. How it should work out is Kevin and Sammy are co champions. Yes. But that's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, it might. Look okay, here, I I feel going really. Into WrestleMania? I feel Are you fucking really serious? bad for a week. I feel really bad that I haven't been watching because Kevin and Sammy are together. Yeah. And when they're together, it's what we've always wanted. And when they're fighting each other, when they're just around each other, mm-hmm. it's fucking golden, and it has been for the last like twenty years. Seeing those dudes. Like, get into trouble, because that's all they've been doing. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, like, running up the ramp and, like, hugging each other, like, oh, look what we did. That's so fucking great to me. Yes. So, them being co-champions for at least a week <laughs> is fucking golden. I and if they that. don't do that, oh my God. I, I lose all, all faith in I WWE. Okay. I was watching SmackDown when they made that match. I thought, I thought it was a mistake, to be honest with you. <laughs> it sounds like one. It's different. Because it's what we want. Because this is what happened. AJ Styles was fighting uh, Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. Kevin Owens was out there inside the ring. 
Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon was on the side of the ring too. They got involved. Basically, Shane or Daniel cost AJ the match. Sammy won, and all that. So and AJ the reverse went, happened with Kevin. Yeah, AJ went crazy. He said, "Won't you just put me in a match with both of them? I'm the WWE." And I think he was kidding. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Daniel Bryan. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. I'm like, the fuck. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> and it, you, you see AJ face like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> what if going into WrestleMania, it is Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles in the WrestleMania main event? That would be, that would be great. <laughs> I would watch that. Would with restore Owens and, with Owens and Zayn as co champion. That would restore. Co champion with a straight face. My my faith in WWE. That would be something I watch. Oh, I'd watch an art beat. I watch it. Best friends. No, that's. I already did that. But. <laughs> they didn't. I guess they didn't have a name in Ring of Honor or anything. They were just Steen and Generico. Yeah. Yeah. If they could bring back Generico and do all this, oh my god, that is not going to happen. No. I would. Well, part of it is I think Sammy's too smart because he'd have to like sell that character to WWE probably. Right. Which I just don't. He shouldn't do that. Right. If he did that, it's done. Also, Generico is in Mexico. We don't need to get him involved. He's taking care of orphans. He's dead. Kevin said he's dead. He's dead. That's what Kevin said. Kevin (laughs) never liked Generico. (laughs) That's got to be a lie. I mean, I can email him. I did buy a mask from him. You did? I have his email somewhere. He emailed me. I'd email him. Hey, uh... You alive? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I should though. Do it. I would. Oh well. Double dare. No, you don't even have to fucking dare me. Nope. Nope. Both of us. <laughs> you guys know this. Both of you. I will just both of walk us up to people and start talking to them. Are double daring you? So that's a quadruple dare. You have to do it. That's no more choice. than a triple dog dare. He's what doing, doing it right live now. Live on the podcast. I live type in emails. Gmail. Live emails. This is a cutting edge podcast. We are right now as you're listening. How long? I have already sent this email because this, we're not live. How long has uh, Sammy been in WWE? <laughs> um, a few years. How far back can I go? <laughs> uh, it's probably going to be a while. Check your archives. It's probably deleted. Do I have archives? I don't know. Can you still see who, who who's next on the card? Yeah, who's next on the card so we can talk about that? Uh, Sami Zayn's email. Sami Zayn's email. Who is he wrestling? Versus. Okay. Um, oh, so the next thing is the triple threat match. Kane versus Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar for the, the WWE Universal title. That's going to be a clusterfuck. The fuck? Yeah. Why is Kane involved? I thought he was big. a mayor. No! Okay. You I keep saw, bringing this up. He didn't win. I, I saw the best yeah. sign. Oh. You brought it up before. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw the best sign. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Someone was holding up a sign in the front row. I know what you're talking about. He said, don't you have mayor yes. stuff to do? I saw that. I saw that. He probably laughed when he saw that. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure he did. That match right there, I already know who's going to win. It's probably not true, but I heard rumors who's going to win, but I'm not going to say nothing. Lesnar. No. That's what we do on the show. Fucking say. Okay. Strowman? Yeah, is Strowman going to win? No. But he's going to lose that elimination chamber. Okay. So it's going to be uh, a short yeah, run. You're, you're telling me that. But uh, that map. Lesnar's going to win because it's Lesnar. Because Lesnar had to show up, he's going to win. <laughs> Strowman always puts on a good show. Kane is getting up there in age, but he's still good. He's over as hell. Brock will just do all the things Brock normally does. When? When during this match. When? What does that yeah, mean? The like, never there. When? When? <laughs> he won't do them. He will just do German I think if you, I think things. if you take Kane out, this would be a nice match. Kane too think, old. Kane slows shit down. I thought we were about to do an Abbott and Costello bit. See, no. Like, I uh, think uh, Kane speeds up the match. No. No, not Kane now. Kane is way more agile than not those now. two guys. Nah. Yeah, he is. Nah. <laughs> not now. Back is he, then, yeah. Is he in the mask now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah, he's faster. Oh, Mas- <laughs> Mas- <laughs> Mas- <laughs> faster. Does he get plus five speed? <laughs> yes. And it's red. Red goes faster. No, blue goes faster. No, obviously, you don't get it. Obviously, you don't play Sonic. 
Obviously, you've never played Warhammer. Oh, no. Because the red <laughs> ones go fast. I own Warhammer stuff. Do you have orcs? Because the no. red go faster. Okay. Oh, my goodness. No, if, if you have a, 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 a model that's painted red, it, it's faster if it's an orc. Who does it to paint it red? Yeah. You get, you get a speed buff. <laughs> Just saying. Who should I talk about? Wrestling's not podcast. my only hobby. Could you guess? You can find out more about them on the Future Villains podcast. Which should have been called Chilling with the Villains. Yep, you dropped the ball on that I one. I did. You didn't you help me. You dropped the ball no, but on I, me, I, baby. Who oh. came up with a name for this one? And Future that's Eels. perfect. You're welcome. So what, who, you didn't what's have to the next try match? that hard. No, I didn't have to try hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good at doing things amazingly without trying hard. Yeah. Where's that new logo at? It's called being fucking awesome. I'm about to go kick your cat. What What logo? What cat? I keep asking cat. you to make us a new logo. All I hear is Jingle Bell. Yeah, I'm also <laughs> There's also some shops I'm supposed to make logos for, too. Way to go. Yep. What y'all think about that match, though? I think oh, it'll Brock be good. Wins. I, Brock should win. And Kane's faster. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think all three of those guys always deliver, but Brock delivers the exact same thing. They might as well put the fucking big shoe in there. Eh. You got all these big ass Kane's beefy men. Put Mark Henry in there, too. Shit. Mark's done. Pretty don't, sure. Don't talk about my daddy like that, man. That's his daddy. Sorry. Did oh, your daddy I, retired? I don't know. I ain't seen him. Okay. He went out for milk one day and never came back. He call said he was going to the weight room and he'd be gone for 12 years. Call your daddy tell him you love him. I will. <laughs> tell your mama I said hey. I will. What? <laughs> Ma- mama Henry. Mama Henry and Mark Henry. All right, what's the next match? <laughs> She's supposed to be on yeah, Mama uh, Mark Henry. Oh, funny. That's funny. Uh, the next match is the 30-woman World Rumble match. Oh, God. So far, we have Asuka, Naomi, Ruby Ryan, Natalia, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Paige, Mandy Rose, Sonya, Deville, <laughs> Sonya Deville, Carmella, Tamina, Snuka, Lana, Natalia, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, Sarah Logan wins. That's going to be stupid. Nah, it'll be good. Sarah Logan wins. You know how many botches going to be in that shit? All the Natalia wins. Sarah Logan wins. Or, no, Oscar gonna win. Hold on, Oscar, Naomi, Ruby, Riot, Natalia, Sasha, Bailey, Paige, Mandy, Sonia, Deville, Carmella, Tamina, <laughs> Snuka, Lana, Natalia. <laughs> Natalia's in there twice. Oh, we're she gonna pull, get she, uh, she double pulled, botches. <laughs> she pulling uh, uh, They botched the website. They what's did. it called? She pulling <laughs> uh, t- Mick Foley. Pulling a Foley. Give me a screenshot. Just tell you botch is so much shit they even botch her on the website. She hit print screen. Maybe. Screenshot on your computer. Um, yeah, Sarah Logan wins, or... I think I called her Sarah Bridges earlier. Sarah yeah, Bridges is Sarah Logan. Y'all already going to win. Oscar going to win. Yeah, Oscar or should win. the entrant at number 30... It's probably going to be some old broad from back in the day. I want awesome to be... Awesome Kong. Oh She's my. still alive? Yeah. What? I saw someone post that. Why would she be dead? Is she old? Awesome Kong? Oh, crap. No, my. I'm thinking about someone else. <laughs> I saw someone... What are someone, you thinking of? I can't know, my. Someone made a video of that, and I was like, you know, that would be pretty awesome. Or Jessica Havoc. Yeah. Beth Phoenix. That's probably not going to happen. What? I love Beth Phoenix. I like Beth Phoenix. What's the other girl named that muscle girl? Oh, uh... Jazz? No. Oh, God. <laughs> What's her uh, she she, uh, Mandy Rose. No, the the too many. Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> See, I knew exactly Ooh. what I was talking about. The one that looks like she's directing fucking plane traffic. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she was Charlotte for a little bit, like oh her and Charlotte teamed God. up. Does her name start with a D? No, oh, she cute as hell. She freaking got muscles. I don't know the hell y'all talking about directing planes and shit. <laughs> yeah, oh she God. has like um, so many like hand signals. Dana looks, Brooke. Dan, yeah, I knew it started with a D. That's not her though. Looks like she's trying to land. A Actually, plane. It's not. Uh, she stopped doing all that. Thank God. She heard her podcast. I just saw her titties online, so I'm trying to figure what? it out. Oh okay. <laughs> but she a she, bodybuilder. Yeah, she used to wrestle. She wrestled. Used to wrestle. Yeah, she got fired. I don't know. There's so I many. There's so many. Ash, I want to say Ashley, but it's not Ashley. 
No, she was like the punk girl. It'll come to me later. I'll look yeah, he'll just randomly yell it out like he did before with hoodwinked. I'm gonna go home and look at <laughs> see if I can find the titties again. I'll yeah, that's you. what you'll be you'll be looking for research. Sure. That's what so, <laughs> research. research purposes. Uh, and then we have the thirty man roll. Oh well, who do you think they win the women's world match? Realistically, I think it's Asuka. Not, that's gonna be her. Say I love you. Asuka, if they're smart, Ruby Riot maybe. Nah. She just got on there. She don't deserve that. She does. How? That's a push? No. Really? No. no. Oh, Paige. Hell no. She doesn't deserve it, but that, that could happen. No. Nah. Paige or Oscar. Nah. Yeah. Oscar. Or Sarah Logan. I mean, that, yes. Forget Ruby Riot. Sarah no, Logan. no girl just there got on there. How the hell they deserve to win it? Nope. That's why. It'd be a surprise win. Nah, that's stupid. They ain't do shit yet. All they did was fight three on three the whole damn time. Let we see, we let need to see. have a three on three faction match between the uh, uh, fucking Riot Squad and the Diarrhea Medicine. I <laughs> think <laughs> 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 that wasn't recorded. <laughs> oh, yeah, that wasn't recorded. No one gets Whoops. that joke. Should we do it again? Uh, no, it's all right. Absolution Keep sounds like a through. weird faction name. It should be. It sounds like a medicine. I want to do uh, it. What's the next match? <laughs> I want to hey, do it. Do what? Okay, go ahead, Brooks. No, mind, Absolution. Brian, no. Absolution's no. a weird faction name. No, no. Brian, get Right, Brooks? No. Brooks? No. Absolution's a weird no. faction name, isn't it? Brian, what is I'm supposed to be in bed an hour ago. What does that ago. even mean? What does Absolution even mean? Well, let me tell you something. My stomach hurt. Give us some of that Absolution. I got some diarrhea to get out. There you go. We good? Well, right, we got that bit out. Okay. Let's go. Brian mad at me now. Thanks. <laughs> 30 man Royal Rumble match. John Cena, he's the winner. Oh, Elias, God. Finn Balor, Randy Orton, Nakamura. John Baron Cena Gordon. will not win. You're right, Roman Reigns will. John, yeah. I'll tell you why John Cena will not win. Why? Because they are going to have John Cena face the Undertaker for they, both of them last match. All right, it's all the paper. All right, they already got a freaking post of the shit. Both of them? Well, Cena will come back. Cena is going to be done after this. No, he'll come back. Nah, he's going to be done after this. What else can he do? He can leave for a long time and come no, back. No, all he's going to do is make movies and fuck that big fake titty bad bitch I got in the house. He done. What the fuck did you just <laughs> say? <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> you, you just had a stroke. A little bit. Good I Lord. want Hacksaw Jim Duggan to win. Because <laughs> he always <laughs> comes out for the rumble. Where the hell that come from? I don't know. <laughs> I like, like that. I, I like that. <laughs> fuck it, Jake the Snake. <laughs> my, my favorite thing about the rumble is all the, like, Yes. All the surprise people that come Tatanka out. Tatanka will come back. He always comes back. Tatanka's <laughs> always Yeah, Tim Duggan doesn't count as a surprise entrant anymore. No. <laughs> no, everyone <laughs> just expects him. Yeah, it's like, all right, well, there's Jim. <laughs> oh, Jim there goes Jim. <laughs> Let me ask you this real quick. Who would y'all want to see come back from back then? Oh, uh, there's a good question. Um, Sounds yeah. like a great topic for another show. We can quickly go it's over It's a quick this. one, Brian. Good night. Yeah. What, talk, what, what are we at? What are we at? We're at 38 eight minutes. 38 minutes? That's all they need. A few more minutes. That's all they need. Name a couple of people you would like to see come back. Uh, DDP. Jake Snake Roberts. Anyone DDP has worked with because now they're in shape for it. Okay. That's Scott nice Hall? Good... Yeah. Scott Hall would be cool. I'll see. I can see that. I'll X-Pac? See that. Nah. Really? Nah. Why not? Nah. nah. Actually, he's st- he, he doing something. I think he got his own promotion now. Ricochet. No? War Machine. I'm sorry, what? War Machine. Oh, what, shit. This um, is, what is this devolved into now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just naming people. Jacob and Fantasy Land right Naito. now. Now, yep, now. Okada. <sighs> All right, the podcast. Kenny is just... fucking <laughs> oh my God. You, bro, you better wake your ass up because you know that ain't never happened. Don't tell me you wouldn't lose your shit if Kenny Omega came out. He, he said from the past. If you don't do the outro, I'm going to shake this. We watched the show. <laughs> Hold on, we got to talk about the thing. Watch past tense. What are we talk about? The NXT. Was Kenny Omega not a jobber at good. one point? Yeah. So in the past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We like that. We're <laughs> <We're there. laughs> uh, <laughs> I got a headache. I can't laugh no more. <laughs> I thought he was going to punch me. <laughs> Oh, man. oh my god! This is why we need video. <laughs> for for those who 
You can't see. <laughs> Probably one of those plastic candy canes with candy in it. There's some M and M's in here. No one can see. That that's why I'm explaining it. Are you? But are you talking to the audience? Or are you talking to black people? Black people. Both. <laughs> All three. <laughs> what? <laughs> and blind people oh my if Jacob doesn't wrap up this podcast I'm going to shake this we gotta and talk ruin about all the audio thing. what he's got to say one thing no I thought we were going to the NXT yeah we were and I looked down and saw that I was supposed to be in bed over an hour ago what time is it Talk about the NXT give us a 60 second recap of the NXT show it was good except for the women's match it was good except for the one women's match really yeah Yeah. the one that uh no uh, you didn't see pictures from it okay it was, uh... The girls look good, but they wasn't good in the ring. Jesse, uh, the Hawaiian... The new Hawaiian chick. Her, oh, like, okay, nerd right gimmick. Right Neo Bailey. The new okay. Bailey. Versus, um... I don't remember the other chick's name, but she, I felt... like a damn stripper. Yeah, I felt like I was invading her privacy during yeah. the match. I was like, I just... I'm gonna be honest with you. When she came out, she had a little suit on. I was pitching at least five tents. She had, like, a garter belt and stuff. And I was like, I don't... Your daughter was with you. She wasn't yeah. paying attention. Yeah, she. I think. She, I think during this match, she was literally sleeping. Who were the people you were like happy you got? To see? But you said, the, see, go there ahead. was a, a little boy in front of us, and I don't know what was even going through this little kid's head. But the old woman behind us is like, "This ain't a strip club." Uh, and uh, Brooks was like, "I know that's what I'm saying." <clears throat> So who were the wrestlers you were happy you got to see? You got to see Heavy Machinery. That was Heavy, actually that was very awesome. Heavy Those guys are entertaining. They're Heavy, entertaining. I don't. They're, think they're funny. Yeah. Otis is funny as fuck. Yeah, I, and I Tucker's agree, yeah. pretty. Are funny. they just gonna be a joke gimmick though? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, just run with it because it's funny. Okay. They're I mean, you could move. take them seriously, but I mean, they're better funny. Okay. And um, because like they dance around and shit, it's just funny. Um, they can move, I'll give them that. And they fought TM61. Yeah, well, how come they got signed and, like, nothing's happening with them? Because they got injured. Oh. Now, they're, I think they're working their way back up. And oh, that is okay. uh, the Mighty Don't Kneel. Yes. From Australia. You guys are awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was I enjoy a, watching them. So that was a very good match. I know. I guess not both of them were injured. One of them was injured? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What was the main event? Oh. Oh, God. I, at first, I was really pissed off. Like, Brian, I almost left. Legit, like, Brian, when he heard the music, he just shut, he muted. Okay, so the first part, it was three on three. Um, the first guy came out. We've seen him before. Remember the warrior? Mm-hmm. I don't remember his first He's name. He's from Brazil. I think it was him, but, it, like, a newish gimmick. Oh, okay. Kind of the same thing, but, like, a, really good. a judo yeah, outfit. Yeah, he more like, uh, what's that dude name? I thought, wasn't the warrior, like, Israeli or something? I thought so. Yeah. I think it was the same guy. I'm not 100% sure. But, and then his partner's music hit, and I just almost fucking left. That legit true story. I had to pat him on the back to sell him down. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it. And you I don't know, know if we've... No way, Jose? No. I can deal with him. Okay. It was the fucking author of pain. Oh, really? I was so mad, I almost fucking left. Why are they putting them, them with the warrior? I don't know. You could okay. The thing that pissed me... Well, never mind. I can't. Never mind. Who are they facing? Say. But then oh. their opponent's music hit. And I damn near jumped up out of my seat. Everybody did. Aleister Black? No, I would have cried. Yeah, okay. It wasn't Aleister Black. KO? No. No, I would have jumped out of my seat for that, too. Sanity. Oh, Damn. So that made up for it, well, and sure that, was, that was that was that was damn my match. boy, Mister Young. Ah, yeah, dude. Oh my God, I love that man. <laughs> yeah, when Eric they signed Young. Eric Young, it was like, huh, what are they gonna do with him? Oh, and and they just strapped it. a fucking rocket to that dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, oh, I, when I, I looked at him, like, hold on. No, Nikki Cross though, by the way. Huh? She wasn't there, but it was the other. What's thing? that one boy? I say real quick. That one boy I said I like he gonna make a big impact. The German boy. Oh, Wolf. Alexander Wolf. Mm-mm. We had a we had a guy that they sent out and the ring announcer lady was like, I wanna introduce someone new for, to you. Uh Mark was it like Marquise? Something like that. I thought they was gonna talk about M V P the way his name was said. Yeah, it was like Marquise something. And he came out and it was really fucking awkward. 
badass. And like, they've done that before, though. They've introduced... Yeah, and like I felt, I felt like they were like, hey, you, go do a promo right now. But yeah, well, that could have been it. And it was... He had really cool music. Badass music. And, you can um, tell it was German by the music. It came out, German guy. He was doing the, hey, how's everyone doing? How was your New Year's? Asking everyone questions. What's your New Year's resolution? And then just... Like, Snap. it just went so bad, though, for him. And because then he was like, I don't have one because I'm perfect. Germans are perfect. Germany, Germany, Germany. Perfect. Perfection. Generic, generic, generic. Fuck you, I'm out. And we're like, uh, that was boring. I like him from that. Well, I know you did. The His music was cool. And, like, he didn't have gear. He had he just had, like, an NXT. Yeah, khakis on an uh, NXT jacket. Yeah, khakis, NXT. Um, yeah. Oh, somebody calling you? The bitch are fucking my face. And then, um, and we're like, well, that was weird. All right. But then I think it, oh, it was after. The dude with the hair. You the dude with the hair. Kona, <laughs> Kona Reeves. Okay. We were just talking about him. What? Didn't he fight Jason, that Jason guy? It was the, uh, the, Jap- the yeah. Chinese guy? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So there was a Chinese guy that came out. Uh, I think his name was just Jason. Oh, yeah, now, I don't Jason, know if it was white Jason Ranger? or Jason or okay. what, but his jacket, his ring jacket, I have best ring jacket I've ever seen. Forget Ric Flair's jackets. He had, it would look like a varsity jacket, but on the back, it said made in China. <laughs> awesome. I could not Fair stop enough. laughing. I laughed so hard. Dude, NXT is so much like the little NXT <laughs> in indie shows. A little bit, yeah. Do you think Vince McMahon would have a stroke if he saw what happened in NXT? <laughs> Probably. Because a lot of it, it's always like garbage, but some of it's like entertaining garbage. <laughs> no. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good show except for that one match. Yeah, so we the one match, yeah, I think we kind of went over it. No, no it, wasn't, it wasn't important. No. But that's what happened in the beginning that we were talking about and then it didn't get recorded earlier. During the meet and greet, uh, it was the Jesse chick who was like the new Bailey. Okay. And she was sexy. Long legs, mocha latte skin tone. She's Hawaiian, I believe. Hawaiian and like Polish or something weird. Some but she porn had porn. like glasses, braided pigtails. Like that porn star I was talking about. A, <laughs> like a dinosaur t-shirt. Go take a cold shower. A dinosaur t-shirt <laughs> that was just long enough to like... Meet the shorts, and then she was wearing like Sounds jean like shorts. No, nah, it's been definitely Bailey looking like. Okay. Uh, like a mixture of the two. Like if, I don't AJ know. AJ skin well. tone, Bailey act. Okay. Um, and then the other chick, I don't remember her name, but the one I felt like I was just, she was just uncomfortable to watch. Like that's weird. I just felt like I was invading yeah. her privacy. That like, happens at NXT though. You get like weird gimmicks or like not good stuff. But yeah, that's and, kind of the fun of it. And they were both bad. Well, well, we were sitting there talking loud because the music was blaring. Then also, we turned around. The girl that looked like a stripper like went up to the table and started talking. What the fuck oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was on the mic. and she, That's what I was saying. Then there was a security. I don't know. It was stupid. Like, Vince paid for that. Yeah, it was. It was that's how dumb it was. It and was the music went back on. Everybody went back yeah. on. Oops. But after that, the mattress was good. Call the mattress was good. Everybody had a good time. For ten bucks, it's always a good show, at least. You know, usually. I think we've been to like one bad show. There's been a couple, but it it it's worth it to go. It's worth it to get out. Yeah. So, and I thought we were we were supposed to have another one in Citrus Springs, but I don't know what happened to that. Um, I never have days off to go. They said they'll be back in March. March thirty first is the next Crystal River show. They must be going on another tour. And then also what they had, which was kind of cool, and if I didn't have so much going on this weekend, I may have done it. Um, they had a punch card where if you go to the next oh, yeah. four show or next three shows, uh, you were entered to win a signed NXT Takeover chair, and that your the card with the punches got you into a general admission show. For like Raw or something? No, to NXT. Oh, okay. But. <laughs> So basically, like you had to buy go to Largo four, Saturday, or buy Friday. four get one free. But you had to go to like Largo, St. Pete. You Who's to go gonna to... do that? I would I if would I was it. on it, but I'm not. You're on the show. No, like if I was, 
it was if I was in, as into wrestling as I used to be, yeah, I would travel everywhere for it. But now it's like I don't. You guys have heard me. I don't fucking like it. So <laughs> I don't like anything. So you don't like anything. Yeah. Except Lark. There's that. Yeah. Well, you should listen to the Feature Villains podcast. We talk a lot about Larks. Yep, and that's where I'm heading next weekend. No pain. You okay, buddy. Yeah, bubble dust, man. He's a mess. <laughs> Oh, yes. no, no, no. Give me some absolution. <laughs> we'll pay you, Jack. Give us some of that absolution. All right. I said that's, that's the best time to wrap it up. Thank you for listening to the... <laughs> Hold on. Thank you for listening to the Few True Heels podcast. This is uh, Brian, Brian Man Peacock. You can find me on Twitter at Brian Man 25 or on Instagram, Brian Man 1138. You find me, Jeremy Brooks, at Jeremy Brooks on Facebook. Jaren Brooks 42 on Twitter and J, uh, J Brooks 42 on Instagram. And I'm Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. You can find me at Best in the Realm on Twitter, Best in the Realm Gaming on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <sighs> He's having <laughs> problems. <laughs> All right. Okay, and you can find this podcast on YouTube at Future Villains. <laughs> Brooks is dying. You can find us on iTunes. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Atomic Wrestling Entertainment. They're going to have a show in Cocoa Beach. Like every month it seems like. He's Looks doing like shows it. pretty frequently. Dude's incredible. He's putting on a great show. And hopefully we'll have more on that soon. Some incredible names. You can also find this podcast, by the way, at futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. I want to go get Brooks some absolution. You saw Carmelo when you do that. <laughs> Take two absolution per day. Keep the shits away. <laughs> absolution. Apply directly to the... <laughs>